What you guys got another video here for you on the Raspberry Pi 4 retro gaming setup. This one is from Labist Gaming Kit. This comes with everything you're going to need to get up and running and play your own retro games on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now you can see you've got two controllers here. You've got your Raspberry Pi 4 gigabyte version, this and your power adapter and everything else you need. And it also comes with a memory card which has pre-installed lacquer on there, which is a lightweight Linux distro based off a of retro arch, which makes it a lot easier to play all your games. So let's take a look at all of the contents in the box here. So we've got the controllers, you've got two of these, which means you can plug these straight into your Raspberry Pi and uh, configure all of the buttons inside lacquer, which is very easy to do and uh, basically you'll be up and running in no time and play all your games on your Raspberry Pi 4 via the lacquer which comes pre-installed on the micro USB uh, card. You can always use whatever you like on there, you can overwrite that and install whatever you like but this is a basically a noobs uh, sort of guide to get up and running. You've got your power adapter here which plugs straight into your Raspberry Pi does have its own power button on here which is a nice thing you can just turn it on and off from here and uh, basically that goes into a UK plug there uh, you've also got you also have a HDMI cable which is basically gonna plug into your monitor and then straight into your Raspberry Pi which will give you your display on your monitor you've got the case here which is a nice little case which we your Raspberry Pi will go into and you can get access to all your ports here Basically, you've got all the screws in here you're going to need for your motherboard and also for the actual fan setup there. You just use those screws. I'll show you how to set that up. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. And uh, you will be able to get up and running in no time. You've got your little fan here, which is going to help cool things down. And you've got your little heat sinks here for the CPU, the memory, and also the GPU. And you've got your pre-installed lacquer on this micro SD card. It comes all pre-installed on there. You've got your little adapter here as well for your micro SD card as well. So you've got pretty much everything you're going to need to get up and running here. We do need to talk about obviously the main part of this video, which is your Raspberry Pi 4 computer, which is the Model B 4 gigabyte version. And uh, this is basically a little small mini computer. It's a tiny little thing. If you've never owned one of these, You've just got to buy one of these. They're so affordable and it's well worth having one of these. You can do just about anything you like with this little mini computer. It's got some uh, pamphlets in here about the Raspberry Pi 4 and some other stuff there. But this is it. Little small uh, mini computer here. As you can see, you've got all your ports on the side here for your power and for your um, mini HDMI and stuff like that. You've also got your USBs on here, your USB 2.0 and 3.0, your Ethernet port on there as well. And uh, you've got all your pin layout here for your power and stuff like that. So pretty much you, this is the computer it, as it is. And uh, all we need to do is put this into the case. So what we're gonna do is put on these heat sinks onto the CPU, memory and GPU so we don't uh, have any problems running these when you're playing games and that's pretty simple to do we've got our quick setup guide here now this is a really extensive uh, user guide here it gives you color pictures and english text inside here which makes it super easy to set up if you don't find this video uh, useful you can always use the manual because there's loads more information inside there so i'd advise you give that a good read if you've never had one of these before so let's take a look at how we get this set up. So I'm going to take these little sticky backs off of these and just stick them down. So the first one you need to put it on is the CPU here. This is this one here. Now you can buy aftermarket coolers for these and stuff like that. I've done videos on those before. You can check those out. But basically stick these into position like so. And this will keep the CPU cool. So we need to take off the next one, which is going to be for the GPU here. I'm going to do that as well. And that is that little GPU in the corner there just need to put that over there now you can put them in a different sequences inside your view but they're all set for their particular size for each uh, chip there so whatever one you use will fit exactly on that chip so this is the gpu and we just got the memory to do now the reason why we put these on here because uh, to cool down the actual raspberry pi as much as possible there is better kits out there on the market which will actually cool this down a lot better like enclosures with twin fans you've seen me do a video on those before but again that's what you can use this will be great uh, for the starting uh, block ready to get you started with uh, the raspberry pi 4 there's nothing wrong with it all we need to do now is put it inside this little plastic case and uh, we're going to take these screws out 
and uh, basically get that put into the case here. So let's go ahead and offer this up. Pretty straightforward stuff this. Uh, you can get other cases out there, but this does come in the kit. Just push that into position. Make sure you push it right up into the little ports there so you don't have any problems screwing this down. The labels are on the bags here to tell you what screws to use for uh, the actual computer itself. You can see this is for the fan and the other ones are for the uh, computer itself or the motherboard to screw that down. So just pull these out then you see they are all nicely written onto the bags which makes it nice and easy. Comes with its own little screwdriver as well so just screw those down and we should be good to go. Next up, put the fan in. You can choose which way you want the fan to go, whether you want to have it extracting heat from the case or whether you want to have it blowing cold air over the, the actual um, CPU and stuff like that. It's entirely up to you which way you have this rotated and uh, it will sit onto this little area here. Uh, it's that simple. There's four little lugs there. You just push that into position and then screw it down. It's that simple. Uh, just let me just line these up and it should just slot into position. So there we go. There you go, that's in. So that's done, and all you need to do now is screw those down with the four screws, and you just have to put these onto the connectors. So all you need to do is screw those ones down there. Okay, so now you can either have the power for this fan to run in quiet mode or full speed. It's entirely up to you. So there's a different pin layout and you could just look on Google and it will tell you where those are and it will probably be in the manual as well. Uh, but it's these ones at the end here. I'm not going to show you close up here because I can't get close to uh, the camera because my big hand is in the way. But you can either put them uh, basically in quiet mode or full speed. I've got this set to full speed mode here. So I'm just going to quickly put the bottom onto the uh, case here and close this up and we should be good to go to get all the cables plugged in and get some display. All I need to do now is basically put in the micro SD card which comes pre-installed with lacquer on there which is your lightweight Linux distro which is based on Retro Arch and this transforms this little mini computer into a retro gaming machine so it's a pretty decent bit of kit. So you can see here we've got all of the needs here inside this little case all we need to do here is power this up. So I've got everything plugged in Oh, I've got my little uh, controller here plugged in. I've got a mini keyboard in here. I've got the power lead and also the HDMI lead and stuff like that. So Ethernet cables in there for the internet and we're ready to rock and roll. All I need to do here is just push the button and it should power on with a nice little blue LED light. So let's get the camera onto the monitor to see what it actually looks like. So you should be now seeing something looking like this. This is the lacquer um, which is based off of retro arch basically and uh, it will uh, allow you to load in your own ROMs and stuff like that if you want to as well you can add more to uh, this little kit and uh, basically you're pretty much good to go from there so yeah it's entirely up to you what you do with your version of Raspberry Pi 4 and what games you like to play now I've already got a nice little setup. Let me show you how to set up the controller here. So when you go into the controller, you'll see like configuring a gamepad here. And all you need to do is just push the D-pad up on the controller, D-pad down, and this will bind those keys to those commands pretty straightforward. Now I've got another custom uh, setup here which I use, which is what I use for my gaming. So I've got another one which I use, which is this one here. And this comes pretty much how I like to use my retro uh, gaming setup. You won't have this when you buy this kit. You will have to set this up yourself. But this is basically just an example of something you can get yours looking like, which is absolutely awesome. It will have all your childhood games on here, which you can play if you're as old as me, that is. But basically all of these are available for me to play here. I can play these uh, as um, when I want. I can just click on these and this is how you can set up your Raspberry Pi uh, for if you wish. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. There's tons of videos on YouTube that will tell you how to do this. If you want to see me make some videos on this topic then let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. But pretty much there is a ton of uh, people out there that have already done this type of stuff to show you how to set this up. It's very simple and easy to do. So anyway, with that said, that is the Lavists uh, gaming kit. 
I will leave the link in the video description for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.